Well, you can plan your next outdoor adventure at the Portland Expo Center this weekend. The city's largest fall RV show goes on until Sunday. Yep, Drew is a happier camper, not just a happy camper, <laughs> but you have one called a happier camper. <laughs> Yes, I, I feel as though I've been doing a lot of uh, laying down on the job this morning. Here we are again laying down, but this is, uh, there's a point here, there's a purpose. Uh, I am in what could be considered the sleeping quarters of the happier camper right now, but this can quickly transform into your living and eating quarters. Bryce is going to help me out with the transformation here this morning, so I will pop out. I will tell you more about the happier camper with the help of this guy. He's Tim Cood. Rhymes with dude. That's right. What's up, Cood? Uh, <laughs> uh, Tim represents uh, Don't Tell Me Highway Trailer Sales in Salem, Oregon, uh, the beautiful Salem. And you guys right now are the only dealer of what's behind us, the only dealer in Oregon oh, and camper. Washington yeah. of the happier camper. That's so, exactly right. You know, tell me about some of the things that people are loving with this camper. Well, what happens, you, you don't have to have a dually anymore. You don't have to have a one ton. You can use a small SUV. This thing weighs 1,100 pounds dry. 1,500 pounds loaded. Okay. But the biggest thing. Dry means there's nothing in it yet. I don't have my bike in there, my food in there. Exactly yeah. right. And, and we're watching them put it together so you can use it all kinds of ways. The, the term on this is versatile. Okay. Okay. But the coolest thing is, is you can take everything out. You can use it to haul lumber. You can take your kid to college. In fact, take your kid to college, throw everything in it. All right, Steve's telling me to get out of the way because he wants to see the transformation happen. Yeah, he's, he's showing us what's going on. So besides what Bryce is working on, which again is transforming it from the sleeping quarters to some more like daily living space, we should point out this because sometimes you got the camper and you're like, I can't store it. It's a pain in the neck to park it. This is going to help. It's exactly right. Look, it, it collapses. So if you want to put this in a small garage in a, in a shed, you can you can collapse it. You can make it long. It's, a lot of garages won't hold normal trailers. So this works out really cool for the short garages. Uh, back here, you've got the window. I'm like, oh, that's pretty. But you're thinking, no, you got to think like a business person. If you have a small like business operation that you take to uh, on the road with you, you could use this as sort of a vending window. You do. They what they'll do is they'll set up a concession window here, which will lift up. You can take a bar here, and so you can serve people here. You can lift it up. You can take it to all your fairs, shows, things like that. If you have 20 kids like I do, you can serve them. You have 20 kids? <laughs> well, I have 13 grandkids. Okay, that's, that makes okay, more sense. Okay, I was I exaggerated. <laughs> that I believe. I believe 13 grandkids. I wasn't believing 20 kids. All right, I got to come back up. Bryce is kind of hanging out in the wings here, which means he must be done. Steve, you want to take a peek inside? Maybe, Tim Cood, you and I will uh, wrap this up by sitting next to each other. I was laying down here a moment ago. Now we're sitting across from one another. Perhaps we'll enjoy a morning breakfast or a morning coffee. All right, uh, we, we saw the insides. We saw the outs. Rod Hill likes to play a game, Tim, called, he's our meteorologist in the morning. All right. Emmy Worthy, I should point out. Rod likes to play Name the Price. So he's going to ask me how much. Mm -hmm. but don't tell him yet. Rod, <laughs> would you like to guess? Well, it's, it's a happier a, camper. Part of being happy is not spending too much money on what you're buying. <laughs> so I'm going to go. Good point, Rod. Good point. I'm going to go $14,750. Fourteen. You can go there, Rob, but you're not going to take the happier camper home with that. Um, <laughs> How about I will tire. tell you, can Rod I, said part of being can I guess one part more of being happy means spending less money. Oh, Good. he's not going to be that happy then. <laughs> <laughs> Is it thirty thousand dollars? Okay, one more guess, Rod. One more guess. I'll go thirty-two. It's less than thirty. The show price this weekend is it's just under twenty-six. Yeah, the yeah. show price this weekend just under twenty-six thousand. I have to wrap up the segment again. Uh, don't tell me. Highway Trailer Sales in Salem, the only dealer of the Happier Camper in Oregon and Washington. You can check it out this weekend at the Portland Expo Center for the Expo's uh, Portland Fall RV and Van Show. Why are all my knowledges and my, uh, my facts escaping me right now? Today, tomorrow, <laughs> Sunday. Knowledges. Celeste, I'm sorry, our producer. I know we went heavy there. I know we went heavy with that segment. Tim Cood, nice job. All right. Yeah. Uh, all right. That's well, always fun to see, though. A man can be happy for $26,000. That's what goes, we learned there. I'm going to need much more space than that to be happy. <laughs> if we're going on a sunrise road trip, we need our space. Well, we need that Plenty. big one, don't we? That, what was that? Like over half a million dollars? That was nuts. Six, 600 something. Wow. 600 yeah. some.